Have you ever wondered how the modern military defends against air threats? What if I told you that there is a hidden gem, a weapon that might surprise you with its design and capabilities? A weapon developed from a French system, re-engineered and enhanced by China to suit its needs. The system is called the h cube 7 and today, we're diving deep into its story. Stay with us as we uncover how this seemingly unassuming vehicle became a key player in air defense, and how its evolution over time continues to shape military strategies. You might just be amazed by how a foreign design can be transformed into something so powerful. Don't blink, because this is a story you won't want to miss. Let's start by understanding where the h cube 7 came from. In the 1970s and 1980s, the French developed a short-range low-altitude surface-to-air missile system known as the Crotal. This system was revolutionary for its time. Compact, mobile, and able to engage aircraft flying at low altitudes, the Crotal became one of the most trusted anti-air defense systems in the world. However, military innovation doesn't stop there. China, with its ever-growing military ambitions, saw the potential in the Crotal system. Through close cooperation with the French government, China was able to acquire the rights to the Crotal design. But instead of just copying it, China took it further. They re-engineered it, adapting it to meet the specific needs of their military. The result? A new and improved version called the h cube 7 The h cube 7 is a self-propelled anti-aircraft missile system that offers significant mobility and firepower. It is mounted on a 6x6-wheeled chassis, which means that it can move quickly across roads and highways. This makes it perfect for rapid deployment, allowing it to be placed exactly where it's needed to protect valuable assets, such as ground forces or critical infrastructure. Think of it as an invisible shield, constantly moving, ready to take down enemy aircraft before they can cause harm. So what makes the h cube 7 so effective? At its core, the h 7 is designed to defend against low-flying aerial threats, such as helicopters, drones, and even fast-moving jets, at short ranges. It can detect and engage targets thanks to its radar system and missile launcher. The radar scans the skies for incoming threats, and once a target is locked, the missile launcher takes over, launching a highly accurate and destructive missile. But there's more. The HQ-7 isn't just any missile launcher. It's mounted on a heavily armored vehicle, which gives the crew protection from small arms fire and even artillery splinters. Imagine a soldier sitting inside a car that not only shoots missiles, but also keeps them safe from enemy fire. The vehicle itself is equipped with large road wheels and a sturdy chassis, allowing it to travel with ease, even when terrain gets challenging. What sets the HQ-7 apart is its mobility. The system can be quickly relocated to new positions, ensuring that it's always a step ahead of any threats. For example, if an enemy aircraft is spotted nearby, the HQ-7 can quickly move into position raise its missile launcher, and fire, within moments, the threat is neutralized. Just like any piece of technology, the h cube 7 has not remained static. Over the years, it has been improved and refined. The first version, the h cube 7 a had all the basic features, but the Chinese military wanted more. So the h cube 7 a was upgraded to the h cube 7 b with enhanced missile technology and better radar capabilities. This made the system more reliable and capable of engaging multiple targets at once. As if that wasn't enough, China also created a naval version of the h cube 7 called the HHQ-7. This version was designed to protect Chinese warships from aerial threats. Just like the original, the h cube 7 is highly mobile and quick to respond, making it a vital tool for naval defense. But it doesn't stop there. The h cube 7 has also been exported to various countries around the world. Nations like Algeria, Iran, Pakistan and Bangladesh have seen the potential of this system and have included it in their own defense strategies. Each of these countries now benefits from a highly effective anti-air system that was once only available to China. The h cube 7 is more than just a weapon for China, it has become an essential part of the global defense landscape. Why? Because it offers a combination of affordability, mobility, and effectiveness that is hard to match. Other countries have recognized this and have added it to their arsenals, giving the h cube 7 a truly global reach. For instance, Pakistan has used the h cube 7 to enhance its air defense capabilities, providing protection against Indian aerial threats. Iran too has invested in this system, using it to defend its airspace from any potential attacks. This shows just how versatile and reliable the h cube 7 has become, beyond its origins in China. In fact, 
The H Cube 7 has shown how defense technologies, when shared and adapted, can lead to the development of systems that are not only more effective but also more widespread. While the system's roots can be traced back to France, it is now a weapon that serves many nations, each of which has tailored it to meet its specific needs. As with all military technologies, the HQ-7's journey is far from over. Its core design remains solid, but that doesn't mean it can't be further improved. China continues to invest in research and development, constantly looking for ways to enhance its air defense systems. As threats become more advanced, the HQ-7 may evolve once again, incorporating new technology to stay ahead of emerging threats. For instance, the rise of advanced drones and stealth aircraft could mean that future versions of the HQ-7 might incorporate even more sophisticated radar and missile guidance systems. As new technological breakthroughs emerge, the HQ-7 will continue to play a crucial role in safeguarding both Chinese and international skies. As we reach the end of this journey, it's clear that the HQ-7 is more than just a piece of military equipment. It is a testament to the power of innovation, collaboration, and adaptation. From its French origins to its evolution into a key part of China's air defense strategy, the HQ-7 has become a symbol of how military technology can be transformed into something far more powerful than the sum of its parts. We hope this video gave you a deeper understanding of how the HQ-7 works, its history, and its impact around the world. But we're just getting started. If you enjoyed this deep dive, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you never miss out on more fascinating military stories. Like the video if you learned something new and drop us a comment below with your thoughts on the h cube 7. We'd love to hear your opinions.